This is part two of Geometry, Chapter 13, Section 2. We've been talking about permutations so far, and we just got to the point of circular permutations. All right. Now here, what we're looking at with a charm bracelet, we have five charms. I want to know how many different ways I can put these charms on here. They don't tell me anything about having a clasp or a fixed point, so I'm going to treat it like a circle. And the formula that we learned on the previous page here was n minus 1 factorial. So this is 5 minus 1 factorial. 5 minus 1 is, of course, 4, and 4 factorial is 24 different arrangements for 5 charms on a charm bracelet. Okay. Now let's consider the second case, because this is kind of interesting here. We have a party of four that we're going to put at a round table. So immediately our minds start thinking circular permutations because it's a round table. Okay. There's a trick involved here. One of the chairs is sitting next to the window. Now I want to know the probability that the person sitting in that chair is the one that pays the bill. Okay, That gives us a fixed point. So it's no longer circular. It's regular. Okay, So our probability is there's four factorial ways to arrange those four people. because it's regular permutations, it's not circular. Now, out of those four factorial possibilities, let's say I'm the lucky one who sits in that chair next to the window. Then there's three other people that they can be in any different order and it wouldn't matter to me, because I'm buying. So there's three factorial ways to arrange those three people that are not me. Well, 3 factorial is 6, 4 factorial is 24. Reduce that fraction, we get 1 fourth. Okay. Now, oh goodness. Sorry, I didn't make the box big enough there. Um, a combination is an arrangement where the order doesn't matter. Okay, permutations, the order matters. Combinations, the order doesn't matter which, which way you name them. Okay, um, think basketball here. When I introduce the starting lineups, I go in numerical order. There's no rule that says I have to. I could go alphabetically. Okay, I could go by height. I could go by who I like the best. It doesn't matter. The, regardless of the order that I name those names, those same five people are the starting lineup. Okay, that would be a combination. Same thing with playing uh, cards. It doesn't matter in my hand if you deal me the queen of spades as the first card or the eighth card that you deal me. It's in my hand. I'm just going to rearrange the cards anyway. So that would be a combination. And there's a formula for it, just like there, were, uh, there was a formula for permutations. It's a little more complex formula. It factors in this other piece. And again, there's a calculator button that will help you. Okay. Now let's tangle with one of these. If we have three points randomly chosen out of all the points that we named on here, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight points, I want to know what's the probability that I get three points that are on the same line, same line segment. So I could get A, H, and G, or I could get A, B, and C, or so forth. Okay. There's eight points that I'm choosing three of. 
So there's plugging into the formula, I use my calculator, but that would be 8 factorial here, 3 factorial times 8 minus 3 is 5 factorial. And my calculator told me that that equals 56. So there's 56 ways I can pick three points out of those. Now, of those 56, there's four line segments. One here, two, three, four. So there's four chances out of 56, which reduces to one out of 14. Okay. How do I know which one to use, permutations or combinations? The key thing is, does the order matter? If the order is important, if changing the order changes what you have, then it's a permutation. If the order doesn't matter, changing the order doesn't really change anything, then it's a combination. Okay? That's the trickiest part of the whole thing, is deciding which one it is. And it all hinges on the same question. Does the order matter? Okay. If you had questions along the way during either part of this two-part video, I uh, hope you wrote those down, bring them in with you, and we'll see you in class.